Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Space Quest. Roger Wilco and the Time Ripper. It's going to be a little loud, so take off your headphones while we do the intro cinematics. Andromeda, he decides a pit stop on Magnetius is in order. During the descent to this cosmic canteen, he is unaware of the interest that has been generated regarding his fate. As our story begins, we find the aluminum mallard parked outside a seedy spaceport barn. <laughs> we join Roger as he relates one of his greatly exaggerated tales of adventure. The aliens are only too happy to listen, as long as Roger is by. See, there is this deadly root monster, a ferocious swamp creature, and a Labion terror beast to contend with. Then I had to outsmart another of Bohal gorillas and steal the shuttle so I could penetrate the asteroid fortress and pull the plug on that corpulent creep. Are you Roger Wilco? Uh, yeah. Roger, Roger. Please come with me. encounter, I can assure you. I have this one loose end to tie up before I begin my reign as the supreme being of all that exists. I do not like to lose. You are a blemish on what would otherwise be a perfect record of domination, terror, and invincibility. Besides, I'm still a bit miffed about that asteroid deal in Space Quest 2. To relieve the pain of my humiliation and to prevent you from being a pain in my future, you must die. It's been nice seeing you one last time. Then, do the dirty deed. You go left and split him up. Mr. Wilco, follow me and do exactly as I say. Let's move! 
come with me if you want to live. Hey, I want to know what the. F Listen, I can't explain it all to you now. They've got a beat on our coordinates. We've got to move fast. We gotta do this fast. Shield your eyes. Oh no! Jump into the time rip. Do it now. You've got to. If I take the time to explain, we're both parking lot pizza. You'll understand soon. Future's so bright. I gotta wear shades. Allowed to non existent auditory organs? This place sure looks homey. Hey, wait, this looks just like Xenon. It is Xenon. It's. it's. it's really a pile. <laughs> Along with the changes induced by an armed conflict, the city looks different, more modern, with a heavy dash of post disaster seasoning. Casually glancing at the status line, you happen to notice that you're in Space Quest 12. What's happened? Who was that guy with the overdeveloped hair dryer? Why did you let yourself be talked into jumping into some strange shimmering hole? Why are you talking to yourself? These incredibly intriguing questions will quickly be forgotten with barely an electron stirred in that well-armored orb atop your shoulders. Finally! Good, googly moogly. Walk button. Can I still use my arrows? Oh look, the arrows only move to my cursor. That's dumb. Well, he just keeps going and going and going, doesn't he? What else we got here? The large structure in the background captures your curiosity. Decaying and destroyed buildings now house the apparently non-existent population of Xenon. A twisted and broken expanse of cityscape stretches south from here, negating possible travel plans in that direction. Whoop, whoop. A brightly colored mechanical hare wanders about. Ah, who's that? Whoop. No, what is that? It's a zombie. <laughs> Invasion of the body snatchers. I keep saying wait. Well, we're glad you could play Space Quest 4. As usual, you've been a real pant load. Don't mess with it. Don't. Hey, keep your hands off yourself. This is a family game. Whoop. It's too cool to talk to you. You talk to yourself, but you don't hear you. Oh, this has smell of vision. Ah, the aroma of several adventure games emanates from your person. Great. The prevailing noxious wind prevents this. Taste? I'll bet you wish you could. <laughs> I bet you wish you could. You lick a thick smear of filth off the street. Finding the taste unpleasant, you quickly swallow it. 
What a smart person you are. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> All right, anyway. Let's... Don't lick yourself. Well, you know, there is a song called Don't Lick a Toad. Uh... A once prosperous bank building stands partially wrecked and sealed shut. In the distance, not-so-fortunate buildings barely stand in ruin. The relatively undamaged building shows no entrances. A brightly colored mechanical hare wanders about. Never heard of. I'm gonna take getting used to the uh, controls. What the heck? A featureless, dirty white structure fills space to the east. Didn't click there. Yeah, I did click there. Why is this not where I want to be? That stupid bunny. Did I go the wrong way or something? All the pink bun buns. Ah! Run away! It's a lightweight, worn piece of rope. You take the small, frayed, useless looking length of rope. Did I just stick it in the front of my pants? Oop, the music changed. No, what happened? Nobody saw me. Oh, that's just wrong. We're glad you could play Space Quest 4. As usual, you've been a real pantload. The grate is anchored securely by bolts with corroded heads. Uh, what you said the other day about, um, you wish you could, uh, cheer every time I died. I made you think. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, right? How dare you make me actually think? You know, thinking makes my head hurt. The structural warpage and the enormous gaping hole indicate a violent end for this corroding battle machine. Take it. Ah! What is this? Keep your hands to yourself. Okay, you now have the unstable ordinance. Remember, it was your idea. What? Good luck. There's music! There's music! There's music! You'd better not. Something might answer. No. Hide. You know, I was stuck in the menu and I couldn't... We're glad you could play Space Quest 4! Though, then you could come visit me and key lime pie. That's right. I'll make you a key lime pie. This is why I love you, Stuffy. <laughs> All right, that's going to be the new uh, uh, official icon <laughs> for the cheers. <laughs> Up somehow to where little gravestones fall into the. The structural warpage and the enormous gaping hole indicate a violent end for this corroding battle machine. Do I save it now? 
Okay, you now have the unstable ordinance. Remember, it was your idea. Good luck. No. What am I? No. Back up. Back up. Back up. Zombie. Ah, oh, man. Now, where am I? Okay, I'm lost. Up, oh, zombie. There we go. Keep your hands to yourself. Uh, wait a minute, how do I bring up the inventory? A very wise choice. Carefully placing the unstable ordinance back inside the tank, you decide some things are better left alone. One thing this oh. society can say oh, is that no citizen enough, lives on the streets. In fact, nothing seems to live anywhere. This place is definitely D.O.A. Run, run, run. Like me. That's right. Luke Skywalker's uh, lane speeder. It smells exactly like the hull of a useless, burnt out battle vehicle. It needs salt. No. Oh. Go away. Oh, that's getting annoying. I know that every now and then in the past, the games would. Uh, Need salt? <laughs> Don't mess with it! Seriously? At least I found them. Because that's going to make them uh, just as fast. What happened? I wasn't paying attention. See what I mean by being fast? <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Now I was hidden. How did they find me? I was hidden. That's not fair. We're glad you could play Space Quest 4. There I am. High five, Stuffy. <laughs> uh, no, you don't need to do the salt. A quick inspection reveals nothing of interest other than a glove box. After taking a quick look around to reassure yourself that the place is as dead as it looks, you snitch the Pocket Pal laptop. Ooh, Pocket Pal. That's cool. What is that? This is just a dumb terminal. It won't do anything by itself. Won't do anything by itself, huh? Leave the screen. No, I don't want to go. 